Hail, Ilfil. Hail, Galmar. Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd join up. Great news. We'll take back Skyrim together, eh? I'm glad I'll have you beside me in there. This place chills my blood. And I don't care who knows it. These old ruins. My father always told me to stay away from them. Good advice, I'd say. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do. And nothing's going to stand in our way. What's the situation? Cold as the inside of an ice race. That and some Imperials are camped out around the entrance. Stay nice and warm. What's the Legion doing here? Damn him! Ready to spill some Imperial blood for st That's what I Imperials! If they're keeping themselves comfortable, let's slip in. Listen up. Those Imperials aren't here by coincidence. Their spies must have found out we know about the crown, and they don't want us to have it. But they won't stand in our way. I know some of you are ex-Legion, and may know men on the other side. But remember this. They are the enemy now, and they will not hesitate to kill you. Keep your wits about you, and watch your shield brothers back. Ulfric Stormcloak is counting on us to bring him back that crown. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Follow me, quickly and quietly now. And put their guts on the ground before they even know we're here. Water the ground with your blood!
will smite you. Uh, scared them off. For the sons of Sky. Keep a sharp eye out. Stories. We must be getting close now. I've never seen anything quite like it. Oh, I've heard of this. They say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Must be around here somewhere. Spread out. Keep your eyes open.
We should take your march. It'll be an important pressure point. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? That's a spirit. I'll get all the details from Garmar when he gets back. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of White Rock. Deliver this axe to Balgruff the Greater. Yes, an axe. How long have you been in Skyrim? Give the man my axe. If he keeps it, I will bide my time. <laughs> if he returns it to you, it means war. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Ireleth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his Stormcloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly then to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. Watch the Jarls weren't to... asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it. This isn't about gold. It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Hail, companion.
Empire's ravenous hunger for Skyrim silver, then I was wrong about him. You're right, Galmar. Again. I'm in no mood to joke. Give the word, my lord, and Whiterun is yours. Whiterun is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. Whenever you are. Is any man ever ready to give the order? Speak with Ulfric. He's expect. No. But neither is every man able to give that order when he must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women. They call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. You're certain we're ready. Whiterun's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around Whiterun are old. But they still stand. We are ready, and I might be old myself, but I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet, if you would only ask me to do it. Ha, <laughs> I'm sure you could do it too. All right, this is it. Yes! Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over Whiterun. Aye, and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in Whiterun. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Then I commit them to whatever gods they still believe in. Talos be with you.